Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the show. Uh, just such a pleasure to have our next guest join us. She has had an incredible couple of years, and uh, it all culminates at the Vancouver International Film Festival, where she has three films. That I know. Starring. Gabrielle Rose is joining us now to tell us about those movies. How are you? Hey, Gabrielle, how are you? Oh I'm, good. oh, I'm just thinking about having a wardrobe malfunction. <laughs> Your Nancy Grace moment. <laughs> I was just a little Nancy just Grace a little moment. Bit. <laughs> But well, it looks like this everything's all in, far Gabrielle. Too yeah. Gabrielle, if I just well, pull I'm that one knot my... there, though, wouldn't that? I think if you pull this knot here, we can try everything that. just no, goes. <laughs> <same>. <laughs> Gabrielle, <laughs> see? Oh, 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 we're on camera. Later on in Sorry. editing, I'm just going to get them to put a star there anyway. <laughs> yeah, put a star. No, <laughs> so everyone thinks it may have happened. Or now, may Mike not. said you have had a busy time the last couple of years. He was not joking. Uh, Amazing. How was this time for you? We're talking about the three films specifically today in the film festival, but. You've been doing a lot more than that. How was it for you? Um, it's been a wild ride. I was comparing it to being on the luge or something. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we did The Provider first, uh, the, the, th the three films that we're talking about. The Provider, which is a short film that's in um, the, the festival. And uh, that was a, one of those 48-hour challenges where you get a package on the Friday at 6 o'clock and then everybody gathers and thinks, what can they do with this package? <laughs> and you actually get the genre put, put to you. I think ours was post-apocalyptic. And then overnight, the producer and director and somebody else write it. And then you get the script at 7 in the morning and off you go and shoot it And uh, that day. And then they have to edit it. And by 6 o'clock on the Sunday night, the film is done. Yeah. And it's really quite extraordinary what it's they It's extraordinary to do. what people are able to do in the 48 hours compared to 10 years ago because yeah. everything's changed so much in the, the world that we age. live in. But yeah. the provider has such a look to it too. You know, it's got it's such stunning. a signature look and, and yeah. the color saturation and everything else. Beautiful. And yeah, we had a, an excellent DOP and an excellent director. The DOP was Amy Belling and uh, Brianne Nord Stewart and Andy Thompson produced it. And really, it came together very professionally. And you, uh, you play a lady in that that uh, has some ulterior motives when people knock on her door. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you just have She's that very innocent sweet. face. She? She's very sweet. She's, She's very just, sweet. See, you're doing it right now, and it's a little bit creepy. She's a little bit hungry, though. <laughs> hungry. You'll have to I mean, watch the it provider. It is post-apocalyptic. Post it is. You can't even say the word. People got to feed. They got to eat. You got to eat. You got to eat. And there's no food. Um, now and then, then, and then right after that, I uh, w w was getting ready to do Virginia Woolf again, playing Martha and Virginia Woolf. And um, Carl Basai phoned me up, and he said, "I'm doing a third film, Sisters and Brothers." And he said, "You've been in the first two; you have to be in the third one." And I said, "Sure, okay." And he said, "So on uh, on Saturday, come down and be a nurse. It's so just a nurse; it's a small part." <laughs> So I go down on the Saturday, and uh, you're on not the a Saturday, nurse in this film. <laughs> no, I'm not a nurse in the film. Well, I'm supposed to be, but he cut that bit. Um, <laughs> and he's got his hands in his, his his head, and he's lost a couple of he's lost a storyline. And he said, "Can you do a a, a bigger storyline? We, 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 I don't know what it's going to be yet, but I think it should be about uh, sisters. I'm not sure." And he said, "We come to my place on Monday, and we'll talk about it." So on Sunday, I'm thinking of ideas and <laughs> typing them and emailing him back. And he, he emails back and says, no, no, you're not a sister. I want you to be a mother. I want, the sister, I want there to be sisters that are younger. And so on Monday, we all gather, Casey Roll and Lena Monroe and myself and, and, uh, and Carl, and we come up with a story. And on Tuesday, we shot it. You're now, this kidding is, me. This is the third in Sunday, the series. Monday, Tuesday. We've got fathers and sons, mothers and daughters, and now sisters and brothers. Sisters and brothers, yeah. Now, do you guys improvise the whole thing that it, we're watching? It, it's a, they're, all, all the scenes are completely improvised. Usually, you have a little more prep time than that um, to develop the story. <laughs> So <laughs> a little more, just, just a, little a touch, more. just maybe a day, maybe. Yeah, two. in mothers and daughter, daughters, for instance, we we were told in September and we shot in February, and we had <laughs> not all that time to rehearse, but once a month we would get together and and work yeah. out what we felt the story was, and we. And how much time did you have this time around? Five a months. Days? If a day. <laughs> so five months versus a versus a day. Now, is this a reflection of how Carl's been approaching the filmmaking <laughs> as it goes along? His confidence and his No, his I cast? think the other stories were, were developed with a number of months in, in mind. But not yours. So so ours, we relied on our experience. So, um, and I hate, it's a bit embarrassing because uh, a couple of the scenes I'm really rather volatile. And in one, I'm telling off my daughter. <laughs> And Rothgar, my husband, you've met Rothgar. Yeah, of, of course. course. 
Yeah. Uh, but when we lost our van and we got our van back, it was years ago. <laughs> I know, right off topic. <laughs> yes, I remember. Yeah. Hi to Rockgar. <laughs> Happy about the van. What were we talking about? Oh, your scene that was volatile. So the scene where I'm telling off the daughter, Rothgar is sitting next to me, and everybody else is really quiet in the theater, and I suddenly hear, <laughs> it's Rothgar because he's, it's, because he's seen oh, this right or? because it's so very close to how I am. <laughs> <laughs> but you're so sweet, I can't. But there is this, the uh, you know, it's funny because it's brothers and sisters. But but there is that stage of of any parent-child relationship where things have to be said, and they're very rarely said in a gentle voice, right? Yes, I mean, no, I mean, and, and Liam, I love you, but I have a 17-year-old. Yeah, and. Um, and so you tap into that a little bit a as little well bit? while you're doing it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, now we God. have to get to the third film, oh, the third uh, which is Everything and Everyone. Yes. Tell us a little bit about this one. Okay, so this Tricky one I'm, I was doing uh, Virginia Woolf, which is just a light piece. Just yeah. a little. For three easy. and a half hour yeah. playing Martha, you know. Just a, <laughs> no big. A very easy uh, character to deal with. And I was sent the script about uh, midway through the run, so about two weeks before I shot this. And um, I read it, and I went, ah. Yeah. But I thought, what a great antidote to Martha, because it's this, she's just the sweetest woman, just the beautiful character. Yeah. And the challenge is that she's suffering from dementia. Mm -hmm. And uh, you, there, it, it, too, has comedy, but it's very, very, very serious film. I mean, there's hugely tragic moments in the film and um, but she is a really light character I mean your character believes is, the best in every situation she's sort of angelic in her uh, approach to things you know and it may be also the dementia that's affecting that yeah right. you know I mean like so I didn't want to be I, I'm I'm a I'm a Virgo you know and I like to research things I like to know what it's all about and I didn't have time so I a friend of mine threw me this book called uh, Still Alice Still Alice I've read that book Lisa Genova amazing isn't and it? I used that as my little Bible yeah. all the way through I just that's what I was reading while I was on set because I finished the the play and went into the film and that was I had no prep you know, now we're gonna show a clip okay. right now it's it's one of the funnier ones okay. it, um, it, why don't you set this up it's all right this the is one at the, the very beginning of the film and um, uh, my husband and I have been canoodling Jerry Wasserman my <laughs> awesome guy to canoodle and with. you know what he's I've heard. awesome in the film too yeah. and um, my son Ryan Robbins uh, comes upon us and is suitably shocked and um, he's brought his his Son. The son that he's just found out about. <laughs> so this is the son's first introduction to the grandparents and also the son walking in on his parents. Exactly. Yes. Let's look at the scene from Everything and Everyone. Rothgar also laughed about this. <laughs> yes, <laughs> she is. So can you put some clothes on, please? What? Ben is here, Ma. I told you like three times he was coming today. Oh, no, he's coming next week. No, Mom, he's here. He's here today. You were going to make up a room. You are going to take him to the park. D oh. Oh, that's great. Will you be home for dinner, Noah? I'm leaving. Good luck, buddy. Hey. Hey, Ben. Hey, look at you. Come over here so that I can see you properly. Hi there, we are so delighted that you're coming to stay with us, aren't we? This is William, and uh, he's your... Grandpa. Yeah, and I'm your grandma. <laughs> I'm Rose. And do you like ice cream? Would you like some ice cream? Oh, good. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> but first, would you be a sweetheart and just, just uh, pass me my bra? It's just... It's just there on the floor. Oh, geez. <laughs> Lucky kid. You have to see uh, all three films we've yeah, been talking amazing. about. That, of course, was Everything and Everyone. And you can see the short, The Provider, as well as Sisters and Brothers. You can go to the VIF website to find out all the screening times. We could talk to you all day. Congratulations <laughs> and extremely well earned. It's just a pleasure to see you I all. I feel like you should so. flash back to me and I should have. Just like <laughs> just the a, Nancy Grace. You know what? I'll put another star <laughs> there. Bada bing, bada bang. We'll take care of it. <laughs> That's excellent. We're going to take a break.